Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, and that is equations. Now, right off the bat, some of you are going to be uh, responding to that little statement and saying, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, equations, I have to learn them. They're not my favorite topic, but uh, all right, get on with your video. <laughs> Listen, if that was your response, then I don't blame you for responding. I know that equations may not be the one thing that you're ultra passionate about it, but, you know, if you are studying mathematics, you're going to have to understand how to solve equations, and that's what this video is about. And um, just my suggestion to you is if you have to learn something, okay, you should have a good attitude towards learning it. And mathematics, it's a win-win situation. Not only is it going to help you think better critically, okay, you can actually learn, you know, skills that you can apply to solve problems. That's the whole essence of mathematics. And solving equations is hugely important, okay? It's not only uh, if you are a student, not only for those of you that are in some sort of math course, but in life, okay? Like, you know, you never know when you're going to run into some sort of basic math uh, equation. And believe me, I, I know a lot of you out there saying, no, I'll never use this stuff. Yeah, you never know. Believe me when I tell you, um, I think that um, you'll run into more math in your life than you think. But anyways, we're going to get into how to solve equations. I'm not going to teach you how to solve every single equation because that's impossible to do in one short video. However, I want to stress kind of the main overarching concept principle that is applicable to solving all equations. And if you keep this in mind, this guiding principle, it's going to help you solve all sorts of different type of equations. So we're going to get to this main principle here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle high school math teacher. And I uh, just want to tell you very briefly about my math help program. Now, you can find the link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking any test that has math on it, so examples would be like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, GRE, GMAT, a teacher certification exam. You kind of get the idea, right? A lot of people take tests for all sorts of reasons, and math seems to pop up on all sorts of exams. I wonder why. I guess there's a lot of people who think math is pretty important. Now, if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program, and then obviously help those of you who are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, uh, one last quick uh, tidbit here, and that is the importance of note-taking. Right? I've been teaching math for decades. This is the, the kind of the, the secret that <laughs> a lot of students don't realize. If you don't take great notes, you're really not learning the material as well as you think you are. Okay, Note-taking is the key to success in mathematics. Just trust me on this. You'll thank me later. But in the meantime, if you don't have great notes right now, you can use my notes. I'm going to leave links to those notes. All this stuff, you can find the links to in the description of this video. Now, we're going to go ahead and solve this problem, but the whole point of this video is not just to solve this one problem. That's this. We're just going to use this as a kind of a talking point. But let's talk about equations, and we're going to kind of um, focus this in on algebra. Okay, so you when you learn about solving equations, you start learning about this. Actually, you don't even realize that you were doing equations way back in elementary school. All right, now let's... Uh, kind of talk about that. You know, we're like, well, I'm going to get to this little uh, graphic here in a second, but let me just go up here real quick. So here's a, an equation. We can all agree that this is like an algebra equation, right? Because it has an X and equal sign. But if you remember these little problems in like second grade, a little box plus two is equal to five. And you would be like the teacher would say, okay, what do we have to put in here to make this true, and you would be thinking, you'd be like, uh, is it three? Because three plus two is five. And you know, your teacher would say, yes, you're correct, that's right. And you would be so happy, happy face, and you get like five stars. Well, this was actually solving an equation. You were actually doing algebra way back, way back in the second grade, first grade, whatever the case might have been. So this right here is a symbol represents a number. Okay, that's that's critical, right? So you've been solving equations intuitively for a long time, but we're talking about uh, you know the more advanced, challenging equations that we start learning in algebra, because algebra, a huge part of algebra, is how to solve equations. So let's just quickly um, uh, talk about some of the equations that you're going to have to learn how to solve, and this would be. Um, kind of from pre-algebra to like, let's say, algebra 2 maybe. Now, I'm not going to go into um, how to solve these, but 
we're just going to quickly talk about it. So first, you start off by solving linear equations, and that's what this thing is right here. This 3x plus 1 is equal to 5, and I'm not going to explain why that's the case, but you have to learn how to solve linear equations, and you'll kind of graduate up to quadratic equations, and then you have systems of equations, logarithmic equations, exponential equations, radical equations, rational equations. You have equations that you can involve a matrix or matrices. Then you have more advanced polynomial equations, and I can go on and on and on. So you're like, wow, you know, there is a lot of different type of equations, okay? So you, the way we solve a linear equation is completely different than the way we solve a rational equation, and it's completely different than the way we solve a logarithmic equation. However, the whole point of this video is to talk about an overarching concept of mathematics and equations that you want to keep in mind it's applicable to all of this stuff okay all right so you don't want to um be overly intimidated by the way with this chart okay but this is kind of a good little overview of you know what you're going to be learning that's why it's so important to take notes you got to take a bunch of notes on how to solve these things how to solve these things how to solve these things and you know this stuff builds upon itself okay all right let's get into it so what is this big topic or this big principle I'm talking about, well, it's the principle of balance, okay? Balance, all right? So just like in life, you know, um, you know, in the natural world, there's balance, okay? There's seasons, right? Things are hot, there's cold, you know, there's a dry, there's rain. You know, balance is everywhere in nature. And in mathematics, you know, this concept of balance is true. So we want to keep things in balance. And balance, again, you know, even with our own individual self, we're sad, we're happy, you know, hungry, we're satisfied. So in equations, we want to be thinking about balance okay that's an overarching concept now here you could see i have a uh, a little scale a fulcrum but some of you might um uh, think about this as a little teeter-totter i don't know if you remember that or it depends on where you grew up i guess uh, a teeter-totter or a seesaw you know, way back in the good old 1970s early 70s boy we'd get on these things and of course we would be like you know back and forth everyone kind of knows what these are i don't even know if they have these around at playgrounds uh sometimes you know some people might think they're too dangerous but anyways you know here's the thing right this is a scale of some sort okay now we're not weighing anything but right here we could see our little seesaw or our our fulcrum okay is in balance in other words the left would be equal to the right now as soon as the the left let's say becomes heavier than the right it would look like this right it would look like something like that and then vice versa if it was like the right was bigger than the left it would look like that now this symbol in mathematics this equal sign okay is telling us is indicating that the left hand side for all intents and purposes weighs okay as much as the right hand side so it has the same value all right so look, for example seven is equal to seven okay because seven has the same value seven or eight pounds is uh, equal to eight pounds okay so this equal sign you know has meaning all right it means the left hand side is in fact uh, equal to the right hand side and uh, when you're solving equations in mathematics, this equal sign is always there, okay? So it's kind of like a little game that we're playing. And what we want to do is, uh, in this particular equation, is we want to solve for x. We want to figure out what x is equal to, okay? And the way we do that is we, we have to kind of strip away all this stuff. we got to get rid of this 1. i got to get rid of this 3 because that will leave me with just an x. But the way I do that... I have to keep the equation in balance. So let's take a look at a little example here. So let's say I have 7 is equal to 7. All right, so that is in balance, okay? Now let's say I add 1 over here to this side of the equation. Now, did I just mess this up? Did I just break this equation? Yes, now this is not a true statement, okay? Because I have this situation now, uh, 8 and 7. 7 is not equal to 8, so this is no longer an equation. But if I want to add 1 to this side of the equation and turn this into 8, not a problem, okay, as long as I do what? Well, I better add a 1 over here as well. So if I do that, that will fix this up, and then I can get back into balance, right? I want to keep my equation 
and balance. So this is okay. So the main uh, point that I want to uh, make here is that when you have an equation, if you want to do something to one side of the equation, you could do whatever you want as long as you do it to the other side, the exact same thing, because you got to keep the equation in balance. So all these steps you learn how to take in mathematics, okay, to solve equations is, uh, you know, you have to keep this principle in mind, okay? Whatever you do to one side, you must do the exact same thing to the other side. So here we have the left-hand side, and here's the, uh, the right-hand side. So what can we do? Let's, let's talk about, let's say, the left-hand side. What can you do in an equation? Well, I could subtract things. I can add things. I can multiply things. I could divide things. I could do all kinds of cool stuff. Well, uh, whatever I do, if I decide to add something on the left-hand side, I better add it on the right-hand side, the exact same thing. If I de uh, decide to divide something on the left-hand side, I better just do the exact same thing on the right-hand side. So if you keep that in mind, okay, you're going to be just fine. Well, not only with these like equations like this, this linear equation, any equation in mathematics. Now, of course, there's uh, you know super sophisticated you know type of equations that you learn like in pre-calculus and calculus, but it doesn't make a difference. This is a principle. This is a natural law of mathematics. So let's go ahead and apply that here. Okay. So the name of the game to solve an equation, this particular equation, is to figure out what x is equal to, okay? Think of this as uh, kind of like your second, second grade problem as 3 times the box plus 1 is equal to 5, okay? Now, how could I kind of solve this equation, if you will? Well, I could, like, guess numbers, right? I could plug in numbers and see, you know, if this is right. You know, matter of fact, let's make this a little bit easier Okay, let's turn this into 3 minus uh, 1 is equal to 5. Okay, I could do the, uh, the other problem, 3 plus 1, but this is a little bit easier to do. So let's go ahead and tackle this problem. So we're trying to figure out the value of x. We want to, the goal is to figure out what x is, what number that is, such that if I plug in a number, I replace that x with this number. If this is, in fact, the solution, when I plug this number in and I do the, all this math on the left-hand side, it's going to equal Five. It's going to equal the right-hand side. So how can I do that? Well, it's kind of doing, you kind of like um, are, are going to want to strip away everything from X. I just want to know what X is equal to. I don't want to have the three in front of it. I don't want to have this one, in this negative one hanging out next to it. So we got to start cleaning this up. So let's get rid of this negative one. We're like, all right, negative one. I, I don't, you're, you're messing around with X. I want to know what X is by itself. So let's get rid of this negative one, all right? So how can I do that? Well, let's just add a 1 to that negative 1, okay? Because negative 1 plus 1 is 0. That gets rid of that. But here's the deal, right? we got to keep this thing in balance. So now I'm adding 1 to the left-hand side. I better add a 1 to the right-hand side. I can do this, all right? I'm just rewriting this equation differently, right? I'm totally allowed to do this in algebra. And the way you do this is, is we, you kind of write it in a column manner. So we have 3x plus nothing is 3x. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. That goes away. Now I have 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay? So I have this equation, 3x is equal to 6. This equation is equivalent to this equation. They are the same. Mathematically, they're the same. They look different, okay? But they are the same. But check it out, though, right? I want to get x by itself. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, okay? I had 3x minus 1. Well, now I have, I'm down to just 3x. Now I just need to get rid of that 3 and just get x by itself. And I will have the solution, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. So this in algebra means 3 times x. So what can I do here to get x by itself? Well, let's go down. We focus in here. And let's draw our little balance scale, okay? And the key here is if I take this 3, 3 times x, if I divide 3 divided by 3, that's going to give me 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1 or 1x. Now, 1x is the same thing uh, in algebra as x. If I write like y, that's the same thing as 1y, okay? So that's what I want. So I'm like, oh, yes, yes, that's what I want. I want x is equal to my number. So to get that, Okay, all I have to do, because 3 divided by 3 is going to be 1, so that's going to be 1x or x. So here I'm dividing on the left-hand side by 3, 
So I got to do the same thing on the right hand side. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 and that is the solution. Okay, because I now I finally have x by itself and there's my number. And now let's just kind of like review the steps. Here I divided, let me uh, use a different color here, both sides of the equation. I divided uh, both sides of the equation by 3. So I kept that e uh, equation in balance. Here I added uh, 1 to both sides of the equation. Again, keeping the equation in balance. And this is how you solve equations, okay? That's an example of a linear equation, but all of this stuff right here, this comes into play. This is a, you know, a big picture mathematical principle when it comes to solving equations. So you want to keep this in mind, all right? And, you know, learning, you don't want to learn how to do something by just like a, um, a procedure. It's important. There is the, you know, uh, you know, steps you want to remember how to do when you're solving equations, but you want to learn beyond that. You want to learn why you're doing those steps. And if you keep this idea of balance, okay, in mind, you're going to know how to solve equations, not and not just these type, these type of equations as well. And of course, there's a lot just solving these other types of equations, and that's something that you're going to have to learn step by step. And hopefully, I can help you along with that. But if this little video was uh, interesting in some small way, if it helped you, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, uh, 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to always try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, I have a ton of content here and I'm posting new stuff all the time, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.